Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. Today we're studying a scene from the movie Easy Rider. Easy Rider came out in 1969. Not a huge amount happens in this movie. Basically, two guys ride across America on motorbikes. They take some drugs, visit a hippie commune, go to a festival. But since I wasn't alive in the 1960s, I find it an interesting movie to get a bit of an insight into what the counterculture of the 60s was like. Filmsite.org says this movie is the tale of a search for freedom, or the illusion of freedom, in a conformist and corrupt America, in the midst of paranoia, bigotry and violence. Have you heard the word bigotry before? Bigotry is similar to intolerance, discrimination, or prejudice. A racist might hate someone because of their race, and a bigot might also hate someone because of their race or something else, like their religion, the way they dress, their ideas. In the scene we're studying today, two guys are talking about this bigotry, about how they're treated badly by some people because of their appearance, their clothes and their hairstyles. Billy says, we can't even get into like a second rate hotel, I mean a second rate motel, you dig? They think we're going to cut their throat or something. In this sentence, you dig means, do you know what I mean? It's a pretty old fashioned phrase and I don't think it's used much these days. Kia ora, in Stick News today, a man in New York has been selling screenshots of other people's Instagram photos for thousands of dollars. Richard Prince is a New York artist. Earlier this month, an exhibition of his art was on display at an art fair in New York City. The artworks were screenshots of images he found on Instagram and printed out with his captions underneath. He didn't ask for permission from the owners of the photographs and didn't give them any money after he sold them for up to $100,000 each. Apparently, Prince thinks his use of the photographs counts as fair use because he's made small changes to each image. And that was Stick News for Tuesday the 26th of May. Kia ora. Today's word is hell. The word hell is used in today's scene in two different ways. Firstly, George says, this used to be a hell of a good country. Hell of a can also be spelt hell of a. In the sentence, hell of a means very. This used to be a very good country. Hell of a can be used to describe something that's positive or negative, and the meaning depends on the context. For example, that was a hell of a night could mean it was an excellent night or it was a terrible night, depending on the context. That was a hell of a night. That was a hell of a night. Billy also says, what the hell is wrong with freedom? In the sentence, the hell is an intensifier. He could just say, what is wrong with freedom? But adding the hell expresses his anger or frustration with this situation. In informal situations, you can add the hell to all kinds of sentences to intensify them. Here are a few examples. What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Where have you been? Where the hell have you been? How did that happen? How the hell did that happen? You know, this used to be a hell of a good country. I can't understand what's gone wrong with that. Oh, they're not scared of you. They're scared of what you represent to them. Oh no. What you represent to them is freedom. Oh yeah, that's right. That's what it's all about, all right?
but talking about it and being it, that's two different things. Man, everybody got chicken, that's what happened. Hey, we can't even get into a second-rate hotel. I mean, a second-rate motel, you dig? They think we're going to cut their throat or something, man. They're scared, man. Hey, man, all we represent to them, man, is someone who needs a haircut. What the hell is wrong with freedom, man? That's what it's all about. Easy Rider came out in A, 1969, B, 1989. 1969. Bigotry is similar to A. Intolerance. B. Intravenous. Intolerance. You dig means A. You know what I mean. B. You want to fight. You know what I mean. Where did Richard Prince get the photos he used in his exhibition? A. He took them himself in New York. B. He found them on Instagram. He found them on Instagram. A hell of a good movie is A. A terrible movie. B. A very good movie. A very good movie. And that was The Daily English Show. Hope you enjoyed today's show. My favourite quote from Easy Rider is something that George says right after the part of the conversation we studied today he says they're going to talk to you and talk to you and talk to you about individual freedom but they see a free individual it's going to scare them have you seen easy rider please let me know what you think of the movie if you have see you tomorrow bye